Welcome to our Medicare 101 series. In this presentation, we are going to talk next steps should you decide that you do want to enroll in Medicare and a Medicare plan. In this series, we hope to answer general Medicare questions that you may have whether you are currently a Medicare beneficiary or soon to be a Medicare beneficiary. At the end of each video, you will see our phone number that can direct you to any of our offices throughout the Franciscan Health locations. First, you need to decide which type of plan you would like to enroll into. Would you like to stay with Original Medicare and add a supplement? Or would you like to go with a Medicare Advantage plan that replaces Original Medicare? This sheet here can help you decide what your costs are and your premiums with each type of plan. If you go with Original Medicare, you will be sure to include your Medicare Parts A and B premiums into your costs. Then you would want to add the cost for your Part D prescription plan. And if you decide you want a Medicare supplement, you would also need to add in the premium for your Medicare supplement. Once you've added your Part A and B premiums, along with your Part D premium and your Medicare supplement premium, then you would have an idea of what your total premium cost would be. If you decide to go with a Medicare Advantage plan, again, you would need to include your Part A and B premiums. Medicare Advantage plans do replace your original Medicare Part A and B but you still will need to pay your Part A and B premiums as applicable to you. Then you would want to add in your Part C premium. And most Part C plans do include prescription drug coverage, but should you be in a plan that does not include prescription drug coverage and you are eligible to add a prescription drug plan, then you would want to make sure you factor in the premium for your Medicare Part D prescription plan. Then you would have your total premium cost should you decide to go the Medicare Advantage route. Once you have figured your costs and your premiums for each type of plan, then you need to decide which plan you are going to enroll. Your first step would be enrolling in Original Medicare. And then if you decide to go with a Medicare supplement, you would want to add that and a prescription drug plan. If you decided that you would like to go with the Medicare Advantage plan, then you need to choose the plan that you feel best fits your needs and enroll in that Medicare Advantage plan. Then, if necessary, would add a prescription drug plan. If you are not enrolled in Original Medicare, then you will not be able to enroll in a Medicare supplement or a Medicare Advantage plan. So it is important to complete your Medicare enrollment before you enroll in a Medicare supplement or a Medicare Advantage plan. Enrolling into Original Medicare is not always automatic. If you are on Social Security, it may be automatic. It should be automatic. They would send you your card automatically. However, if you are not taking Social Security, then you will need to make sure you contact Social Security either by phone, online, or in person to enroll in your original Medicare Parts A and B. Everyone's situation can be different when they decide to go on to Medicare. Some have chosen to stay on an employer plan for years and may have their Part A only their Part A and B, or may not have gone on to Medicare at all. Others are new to Medicare and are just turning 65. So it's important to know, no matter what your situation is, that you know your steps, your rights, and your options. If you are going on to Medicare and leaving an employer plan and you only have Part A, then your first step will be to get a letter of credible coverage showing you've had credible coverage through that employer plan. You will also need to fill out a Part B application and there will be a section in that application that the human resources at your employer will need to fill out. Then you will need to schedule an appointment whether it be online, in person, or by phone with the Social Security office to make sure 
you can enroll in your Medicare Part B. Once you have your Medicare Part B in place, then you can look to enroll in your Medicare supplements or Medicare Advantage plans. If you have Part A and B, then at that point you've already taken care of your Part B and you just need the credible coverage through your human resources. At that point, once you have that letter of credible coverage, then again, you can look at your options with Medicare supplements and Medicare Advantage plans. If you are new to Medicare and turning 65, then you will want to enroll in your Medicare Part A and B, again, through Social Security, or you could sign up online. Once you have your Medicare card, then you can enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan or a Medicare supplement. At any point when you are ready to enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan or a Medicare supplement, Franciscan Insurance Services is here to help you. If you'd like assistance with your Medicare options or just have general Medicare questions, call us at 877-883-6457 and you can choose the office located nearest you to speak with your local Franciscan insurance consultant.